welcome to Accounting Hub. I'm Professor George Scarpin, PhD in Accounting, and our topic today is Research and Development, or R&D, according to the U.S. GAAP. So what are we talking about? Research, planned search or critical investigation to discover new knowledge that helps developing a new product or service, or a new process or technique or improving an existing product or service. So here we have no prototype, we have no product yet. We are only researching what works, what, what doesn't work, and so on. After research, we find, okay, this technology works or this research works. We go to development, translation of research findings into a plan or design for a new product or process or improving existing product or process, whether intended for sale or use. So here we are going to prototype our new product. We are going to test it and so on to check if it will be uh, useful for use or sale. Okay. And what is R&D costs? Includes costs relevant to R&D projects, such as salaries, cost of materials, equipment, facilities, intangible assets, cost of service performance by others, and reasonable allocation of indirect costs related to R&D activities. Just like any other expense here. So any expense, they are R&D costs. Uh, asset purchased for a single R&D project. Cost is considered R&D and expensed immediately in the current year. So we don't depreciate and we don't capitalize it. It is expense and we expense it right now. However, if the assets purchased for more than a single R&D project, then the depreciation or amortization of these assets included as R&D expenses only in the periods the assets are used for R&D activities. So then we depreciate it. And for instance, if it is used for uh, two uh, projects at the same time, and we need to allocate this depreciation based on any cost driver number of hours that each uh, R&D uh, project use it. Or uh, uh, an equipment I purchased for an a R&D project and for general use. Again, we need to allocate this for our project based on some cost driver, okay? So what do we have here? Uh, everything from start of R&D activity until the start of commercial production, they are R&D costs. Everything after that, they are known R&D costs and they are regular operating expenses or cost of goods sold. Okay. An exception here in the U.S. software. Software will go just like international accounting. Cost as the R, that is, that is the research, it is expensive as R&D. After we have our technological feasibility until the date of product release, that is the, the development, we capitalize it and we amortize it based on the useful life of this project. So it, it is an intangible assets here. And then after that, it is a regular cost, a regular expense here. So a small difference uh, for computer software. Okay, guys, so we have here our costs. And what is technological feasibility when the Enterprise has completed all planning, designing, coding, and testing activities that are necessary to establish that the product can be produced to meet its design specification, including functions, features, and technical performance requirements. 
Okay, guys, so before, thank you. Let's go to our Excel file to check how we do that. And all our Excel files, they are free, and the link to download it is in our video description. And please subscribe our channel. You will be the first one to know when a new video arrives. And like our Facebook page, Accounting Hub by Dr. Scarpy. So let's consider here, Scarpy Company, my fake company, made the following cash expenditures during 2021 related to a development of a new industrial plastic. The project resulted in a new product to be manufactured in 2022. A patent was filled with the U.S. Patent Office. The equipment purchase will be employed in other projects. So we need to depreciate this equipment here. Oh, we don't have this last journal entry. Oh, let's consider here expenditure for R&D salary. So let's consider $4 million. R&D supplies consumed, $2.5 million. Purchase equipment, $8 million. Uh, patent, filling and legal costs, and, and when the development is done. So after our R&D, we patent it. So let's consider here $200,000 and other service, Let's consider here $1 million. So, what is R&D expense? Salaries, supplies, and other services. Equipment we will be using in other projects, so we depreciate it. Patent. We are considered this patent after our development is done. So, it is a known R&D cost and it is an intangible asset so let's start with the non rnd cost so equipment eight million dollars and cash let's consider here we are paying in cash and patent two hundred thousand dollars everything else is rnd expense so how much will be our rnd expense four million plus 2.5 million plus one million dollars 7.5 million dollars however this is not the total r in the expense why not because we need to depreciate this equipment let's consider here we have a beautiful life 10 years and the residual value of this equipment is 500 thousand dollars and let's consider that for now it is used used only on this project but we will be using in other projects later and how much would be our de accumulated depreciation so the difference here the debit is not depreciation expense because it is an r and d expense so r and d expense added accumulated depreciation so just like any other depreciation, 8 million less residual value divided by useful life, $750,000. So our R&D expense will be 7.5 million plus $750,000, $8,250,000. So this will be our R&D expense. Okay, guys, quite easy, huh? Perfect. So, thank you so much. If you have questions or comments, leave it here or email me at jscarping at gmail.com. Have a very nice day and God bless you.